In this tutorial, we will learn about how to assign values to a union data type. So first, let us declare any union with the name as number. So th this thing is referred to as either the tag of the union or the name of the union and inside it you can declare the different members. So I am declaring two integer variables int x and int y. So these are the two members inside the union number. Then if you want to assign values to this, you can open the main function and you can declare a variable of the type union. So just like as we declare a variable of structure, here also same concept, write the union keyword, then write name of the union and then assign any variable. So I'm assigning the name as X and here I'm giving value to X variable. So I'm writing n dot x is equal to 56 for example now let me print the values of x and y if you observe printf i am printing first value of x is equal to percentage d and uh, replace that percentage d with the value of n dot x and in the next line, I will print the value of y. So value of y is equal to percentage d. Replace it with n dot y. Now, if you observe here carefully, I have not assigned any value to y. I have just assigned value to x. I have written n dot x is equal to 56. But if you remember the union definition, all the members inside a union share the same memory location. So if you assign value to any one variable, automatically the other variable also will have the same value. So if n dot x is 56, the value of y also will be 56. So let us try to compile and run this code and see the output. So if you observe here, it has printed value of x also has 56 and value of y also has 56 and I have not given any n dot y equal to anything. So this is the difference, main difference between a structure and a union that in structure you can give different different values to different members. But inside a union, because they are sharing the same memory location, they will have the same value. So the main advantage of union is we can save memory main disadvantage is also that that you can access only one variable at one time for example if you assign anything to y also automatically that will be assigned to x and whatever you assign to x is getting assigned to y so the memory is getting saved but the main drawback here becomes that only one variable can be accessed at one time so hopefully you understood the difference between structure and union thanks for watching